viewer input is critical. It's through you that we learn about important new cases, intriguing opinions on paranormal phenomena, and of course, the skeptic's point of view. Recently, sightings went online to give viewers instant access to our investigative team, and so sightings could give something back to you. If Alexander Graham Bell could see us now, phone lines being used to transfer messages, images, and thousands of pages of data from all over the world directly into your home computer. In the vast universe of cyberspace, Sightings maintains an outpost of information on America Online. Through AOL's subscription service, Sightings viewers can download information about UFOs and other paranormal phenomena. Sightings has also made it possible for AOL subscribers to exchange information with other paranormal enthusiasts and talk live with Sightings' own experts. Why would the government cover up a balloon crash for so long? Recently, subscribers had a chance to query Stanton Friedman and Carl Flock, two prominent UFO researchers who are often at loggerheads about the mysterious crash at Roswell, New Mexico. They brought their expertise online. How can experts sort the genuine UFO reports from crackpots looking for publicity? Carl, you go first, Stanton. Uh, look at the uh, credentials of the individuals they're dealing with. You can look at what they tell you to see if it's consistent with the other information cyberspace is a new medium and in some ways I expect it will it will dwarf the power and the reach of other media. Michael Lindemann runs an online information center called the Institute for the Study of Contact with Non-Human Intelligence. I actually think there's a very good match in fact between people working on the UFO subject and people in cyberspace. In a room full of UFO enthusiasts, you find lots of people with advanced degrees and lots of people with computer skills. Nicknames can be used instead of real names online. This anonymity encourages hoaxing, but also allows reluctant witnesses to come forward. More and more people will tell stories or share experiences and insights that they have literally kept to themselves all their life. And the story set apart by itself may be only curious, but set in a constellation of other stories from equally solid people. It becomes a phenomenon. It becomes something important. Online, Sightings periodically conducts opinion polls on a variety of paranormal topics. Recently, we asked the question, do you believe that the government is involved in covering up the truth about their involvement in UFOs? Over 90% of the respondents answered yes. The U.S. government is covering up what they know. Through the online service, you can participate in the Sightings Opinion Polls. We'll bring you the results on future programs.